In this recording, we look at how to find the least common multiple, or LCM, of two numbers. And the least common multiple is the smallest number that has both of the original numbers as factors. That is, it is the smallest number that is divisible by both of the original numbers. And the least common multiple of two numbers can be found by first factorising each number into a product of primes and then comparing these factorizations. In particular, we consider all prime numbers that are factors of at least one of the two numbers and multiply together the highest power of each of these prime numbers that occurs in each of the numbers. So for example, how would we find the least common multiple of 8 and 20? Well, let's start off by factorising each of these numbers. 8 is an even number, therefore it is divisible by 2. So we write that as 4 times 2. 4 is also divisible by 2, so that becomes 2 times 2 times 2. And therefore, alternatively, we could also write this as 2 to the power of 3. What about 20? 20 is also an even number, so that is divisible by 2. That becomes 10 times 2. In turn, the 10 part is 5 times 2. So 20 is 5 times 2 times 2. Or, if we preferred, not essential, but we could write this as 5 times 2 to the power of 2. So what is the least common multiple of these numbers then? Well, the first way we could see this is that all the factors of the first number must be included. So 2 times 2 times 2. And therefore we could think of that by saying, OK, this 2 has already been included here, so we'll cross that off from our second number, 20. There's also another 2 also included there as well. So therefore, it'll be 2 times 2 times 2. And the only factor of 20 that we have not included here yet that is relevant will be the 5. So that the least common multiple will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, which equals 40. So that's one way we could have thought about working this out. Alternatively, if you prefer, we can look at how we wrote these as powers. And we said it's multiplying together the highest power of each of these prime numbers that occurs. Well, 2 is a factor, and the highest power of 2 that occurs is 2 to the power of 3, which is a factor of 8. In fact, is equal to 8. What about our next prime? Well, 20 was also divisible by 5, and the highest power of 5 that occurs anywhere then is 5 to the power of 1. So therefore, the lowest common multiple is 2 cubed times 5, which once again gives 40. So those are two methods for finding the least common multiple. And the same principle applies if we have more than two numbers and want to find the least common multiple. So let's look at finding the least common multiple of 8, 14 and 21. So again we write those out in terms of their factors. So 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, or we could write that as 2 to the power of 3 if we preferred. 14 is 7 times 2, and 21 is 7 times 3. So once again the first method we could use is to include all factors of the first number, that all prime numbers that multiply to give the first number. So for instance 8 is 2, so we'll cross off the first 2 that occurs anywhere else, times 2 times 2. So that will be the start of this. Now are there any additional factors of 14, any additional prime numbers we have not yet counted? Yes, there is a 7. So we include that, and to make sure we don't count it again, we cross that off here. Any prime factors of 21 we have not yet included? 
Yes, there is a 3. So therefore the least common multiple must be 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 times 3. That works out to be 8 times 21, which is actually 168. Now once again, we also have the alternative of looking at the highest power of each prime number that is a factor of any of these numbers and multiplying those together. So if we use that method, we can see that 2 is a factor of at least one of these numbers. In fact, it's a factor of both 8 and 14. And the highest power of 2 that occurs is 2 to the power of 3. 3 is our next prime, that is a factor of 21. And it's only 3 to the power of 1. None of these have a 3 squared or 3 cubed or anything like that. So therefore, the highest power of 3 that occurs is 3. The next possible prime factor is 5. That does not occur for any of these numbers. Then we get 7. 7 is a factor of both 14 and 21. And the highest power of 7, that is a factor of any of these numbers, is in fact just 7 to the power of 1. So therefore, 2 to the 3 times 3 times 7, which again gives 168. That is another method of working out the least common multiple.